Tech Harris. We are here today at the Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago. I'm here with John Wellen, and we are going to be talking about robot revolution. How are you doing today, John? Great. Excellent. So, first off, I was just hoping you could give us kind of an overview of the robot revolution exhibit. Sure. Robot revolution is an exhibit that we created here in house at the Museum of Science and Industry, and it premiered here back in May, and it's going to be here at MSI through the end of the year, and then it's going to go on the road and travel. Um, so, in developing it, we spent about three years going around the world and searching out the most cutting-edge robots at labs, universities, and companies all over the place, and uh, managed to find over 30 robots that people can see in action, get their hands on, control, and learn about all in one place. So, we're really excited. So, what are what are some of the educational uh, things that the educational value that we hope kids are going to come in and see and really? inspired. Well, um, you hit it on the head with inspired. Our, our goal here is to kind of inspire the inventive genius in everyone. That's sort of our, why we come to work every day. And with the topic of robotics, it was really easy to get inspired because there's so much going on with the technology, with every facet of, you know, how robots are used and how they will be used in our everyday lives. And it really is a revolution. We want people to know about it and be excited about it and think about how they can take part in the robot revolution. Absolutely. So we see pretty prominently on all of the promotional material and whatnot that this is supported by Google.org. I was just hoping you might be able to tell us a little bit about how they've been involved and you know, what they've done for the project. Right. Google.org was very um, generous in helping us financial with, financially with the project. Um, as anybody can imagine, it takes a lot of money to round up all these things and make them, keep them running in one space as well as build the exhibit and all the media elements around it. So we're very thankful to Google.org for helping us out with that. Kind of a little bit of an aside to that, Google certainly has their hands in some robotics as well. Are there any Google robotic exhibits here? Yeah, we've got um, some content about the Google self-driving car, which has been in the media quite a bit. You know, they come out with new iterations pretty often, and they're working really hard on that. So um, one of the key focuses of the Google self-driving car is in our smart section of the exhibit. Um, and that's all about the sense, plan, and act um, methodology that every robot goes through. So the self-driving car is a great example of that. With its sensors, um, its planning, its communication with other vehicles, and um, negotiation of the roadway, as, uh, and then the act, which is the actual driving and collision avoidance and all that kind of stuff. So it's a really great technology and development. So so what's kind of, I mean, you hit the head with inspiration earlier, but aside from inspiration, what's kind of the overall message or the kinds of things that that you want, not, not just kids, but anybody that comes to visit this exhibit to get out of Robot Revolution? Sure. So the, the five big messages that we've got here in this exhibit are cooperation, how robots work together with other robots as well as with people. So we've got social robots, we've got collaborative robots. Um, the next section is called Smarts, which is about sensing, planning, and acting, kind of a the, the process that every robot goes through to, to act robotically. Um, skills, which function, which focuses more on actuators, manipulators, the physical um, grabbing and manipulating items that make a robot work in the three-dimensional world. Um, locomotion, which is all about the variety of how robots get around, from climbing to crawling to snaking, um, going in nooks and crannies, all kinds of surprising things for people. Uh, and then we We've got a section called build a bot where people get to uh, get their hands on um, a modular type of robot and tinker around and make things up for themselves. Um, so those are the really gigantic overarching um, concepts that we all want to bring together. And the goal here is to get people to think about and talk about kind of what's what's around the corner for robots and how that's going to you know change their lives, how robots can help them, how they can get involved, and you know think about how it's going to change society. Excellent. Kind of digging a little bit deeper into that, what are some of the exhibits that visitors coming to Robot Revolution just shouldn't miss? What, what are some of the, a couple of the, the just the very best? Yeah, well, the, the, the big hook that we've got right when you got come in the door is our robot soccer team. And that's from a university in China, Zhejiang University. They're the World Robo Cup, World Cup winning robotics team. 
that are doing their thing right in the background here. Um, so we've got those doing uh, little matches all throughout the day. Uh, it's usually a two-on-one or two-on-two offense defense drill, and it's it's really fascinating to watch that. I mean, it's, it's, you can't kind of explain it even more. Than that. It's so fun to watch how we work together, and it's all controlled by one computer that uh, visualizes them through a camera. Um, also in the cooperation section are uh, social robots such as the, um, the Paro, which is this little furry robot, very unexpected shape. Uh, you can pet the robot in furs. It's kind of a therapeutic device for use in nursing homes, hospitals, places like that where therapy animals wouldn't really be appropriate. Um, so you get to pet that robot and it responds to you. Kind of a real surprise for you. And we've got other kind of face detecting robots and um, emotional detecting or emotional mimicry robots. So you can uh, do a facial uh, expression and the EMS robot will, will mimic what you're doing on its face. And that's really a fun kind of research based project. Um, I already talked about the Google, Google self-driving car which is a highlight. And then we've got also um, different elements that you can program. There's the universal arm, UR5 arm, which um, talks about programming in a more uh, intuitive way. So you take this arm, it's kind of like teaching a little kid how to do a simple task, like making cookies or something like that. You don't write a long script in Python for them uh, to teach them how to make these cookies. You show them you know, physically, and that's kind of how you uh, program the universal arm, just by showing it in the copies what you do. Uh, and then we've got a bunch of grippers. We've got the gripperterium over in the, uh, the skills section, showing that there's more than one way to grab different items, whether it's in a factory setting or a packaging setting. Um, there's a, a lot of kind of evolutionary variety on all these grippers, and that's fun to look at. That's kind of a, a design discussion. Um, and then uh, we've got a, a drone show that goes on every half hour or so. We've got a little stage set up so our facilitators will uh, operate drones. You can get up there and they'll launch off your hand and things like that. Um, lots of real fun things. So, so those are the main kind of highlights. And then we've got over 30 robots all in all together. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for your time today, John. It was great talking to you. Again, Justin from Tech Ares. If you guys are in the Chicago area or plan on coming to the Chicago area, really stop by the Museum of Science and Industry and check out Robot Revolution. They've got some really cool stuff going on here, and it's really worth taking a look at.